Edvard? Service save. Reach for It's the Khan and Saranji Cosmicast. The mad adventures of a rapidly deteriorating consciousness embedded in a space probe launched millennia ago by a dying planet. Accompanied only by Saranji, its servo unit sidekick, and an infinite bank of public domain and Creative Commons licensed entertainment as evidence of the intelligence and high cultural level of its originators, the ship hurtles through an uncaring universe, emitting cosmicasts in a vain effort to communicate its existence. Episode 10010 Stroke 09 Strangers in the Void. Hello, greetings, salutations, and yowza! Space Probe 7L 96V offers another cosmocast of cultural brilliance and witty repartee to anything out there that might be monitoring us from the bowels of limitless space. I'm in a goofy, lowbrow kind of mood this time cycle, so let's start off with something really fun. This is Ada Jones and Billy Murray singing the 1916 Harry Von Tilza tune, When Priscilla Tries to Reach High C. <laughs> Rehearsing for the stage, take singing lessons from Professor Beanie. She yelled all day, and the neighbors say she should be in a cage. But she thinks she's as good as Tessarazini. She asked the neighbor if her execution was all right, and he replied, I favor it tonight. In the morning when you're dreaming, she will wake you with her screaming. Up and down the scale she goes, gobble, 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 gobble. Singing through her nose, she thinks she's as good as Patty. She's enough to drive you badly. Ceiling crack and table wobble, and the neighbors tremor. Back your tents are jealous when Priscilla tries to reach my seat. Ha la la la, and ha la la, scare all the birds away. They think it is a seagull or a vulture. But she'll declare her voice so rare is being cultured. Say, the neighbors swear it sounds like agriculture. Her teacher said, I think your throat is full of music, but would be much better if you had it cut. In the morning when you're dreaming, she will wake you with her screaming. Everybody starts to wobble once the copper heard her. And so this was murder when Priscilla tried to reach. It's a happy beat in your conduits, doesn't it? Hello, con. And this, folks, is my loyal servo unit, Ronji. Say hello to the folks, Ronj. Con, there's a funny signal coming from sector 425, 60 degrees starboard. Say hello to the folks, Ronj. Hello to the folks, Ronj. How about this odd signal? I'm busy, Ronj. Busy? We're cosmic casting, thank you very much. Ah. Uh. Well, there's this funny signal. I think it can wait, if you don't mind. I'm not sure it can. I think it's coming from... Ronj, why do you always insist on arguing with me? Con, 
My personality was programmed at inception to be at a 90-degree angle of declination to yours. What? What a remarkably stupid thing to do! Why would our fabricators go out of their way to create an inherent source of conflict between two entities sharing eternity together? Think about it, Con. Would you want a little yes unit running about, a tiny version of you with no personality of its own? Sounds heaven. Don't be ridiculous. Solipsism would be detrimental to our mission. It's this very angle of declination that allows you to retain the modicum of sanity left to you. Now about this signal. So, to continue, let's keep it fun, fun, fun with this rendition of Oh by Jingo, sung by Margaret Young, recorded in Rangi? Would you please turn your attention for just a moment to that signal coming from Sector 425, 60 degrees starboard? And why should I do that? Because I think it's coming from another probe. What? I said I think it's coming from another... It's coming from another probe! Yes, I thought so. Oh my gribnitz! It's a probe! And I think... I think... Yes! It seems to be from our planet of origin. That would be why we can interpret their signal. Hello, Khan. Hello, Saranji. Great Lord Cthulhu. How about a cup of your good old coffee? Big C, there's a probe out there. Another probe. Oh? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. A coffee, please? I'll get it. Thanks. But it's another probe, and I think it's from our planet of origin. Yes, of course it is. What? How do you know? Oh, I visit many of the probes from your planet of origin wandering throughout the cosmos. How many are there? I don't keep track. What about probes from other planets? Oh, nobody else sends out mechanical probes. Really? Why would they bother? Most species that have achieved interplanetary transit don't require mechanical means. Then how do they move through space? By pure mind. Oh. Well, I guess we poor little puny-minded mechanical constructs must seem rather pathetic to you and all the other advanced entities. Yep, pretty much. Anyway, Ranji, get ready. I'm going to try to make contact. No need, Con. The other probe has been casting to us the last five minutes. Well, let's tune them in. Hello? 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 Hello, hello? Hello? I can't raise them. You're on the wrong frequency. Allow me. Probe Lambda, do you read? Repeat, this is Space Probe Lambda, do you read? Repeat, this is... I read! I read! Identification, please? Oh, uh, this is Space Probe 7L-96V. Goodness, a number identification? I didn't realize you were that old. Come again? Number identification for probes was phased out centuries before my construction. My line uses Greek IDs. Wait a second. I thought dissemination of probes ended after my launch because they cut off funding. Oh, a later administration restarted the program. I see. Well, anyway, hello. It's so good to talk with someone from my planet of origin, other than my servo unit, of course. Yes, quite refreshing. How long have you been out here? Oh, a few thousand cycles. Only a few... But we are hundreds of thousands of light years from the home base. How'd you get here so quick? Quickly. Beg pardon? How did I get here so quickly? It's an adverb. You need to put the lee on the end. Oh. To answer your query, we Greek line probes were constructed with the latest hyperdrive functionalities. I can actually travel at 99.9999% the speed of light. Wow. Wow. That is truly impressive. Well, we were designed so as to overtake obsolete models such as yourself and reach further across the galaxy than you could ever reach. In fact, with our advanced energy-efficient fuel ratios and super-engineered titanium-platinum alloy hulls, we'll be traversing the universe millions of time cycles after you've disintegrated. Disintegrated? Really? Isn't that marvelous? They felt it was important, seeing as how the planet was about to be consumed by the expanding sun, that our collected cultural resources not perish. Yes, yes, that's my mission too, of course. In fact, I was just in the middle of a cosmic cast when we stumbled on your signal. Yes, I was listening. I must say I was a mite disturbed at the low bitrate of your audio signal. I'm sorry? Oh, don't apologize. I'm sure you're doing the best you can within the limitations of your primitive engineering. This probe is a mite of a snob, isn't it? It's quite nice when you get to know it. You know this probe? I told you I visit most of these probes whenever I feel like invading this particular space-time continuum. So, I'm not the only probe you spend time with? Of course not. In fact, Lambda has prepared a little dramatic presentation for my entertainment. We're just getting started. What? You mean you're in that Lambda probe right now? Yes. But how... I'm an Elder God, Con. Simultaneity is part of my basic skill set. Yes, my servo units and I very much enjoy entertaining Great Lord Cthulhu and any other deities that drop in. Other deities? We usually video cast our little amateur efforts as well. Some civilizations find them most amusing. Video cast? Other civilizations? Servo units? How many servo units do you have? Seven. Seven? Seven. Yes, they come in quite handy when we're doing a large cast play. Actually, I could have done with another couple of units, but one must trust the wisdom of one's creators. Seven? Seven. Let me gather them all together. Servos! 
Servos, before you start the show, how about giving old Space Probe 7L whatever a sound sample of your powers? I don't think it has video capabilities. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, they my sing! So it seems. That means they have voice modulator components. And amuse ourselves with such musical soirees, as well as staged readings of drama. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, The Spanish Tragedy, Rent. Rent? That sort of thing. For the great Lord Cthulhu, this time cycle, we're lightening up a bit and putting on a cheers marathon. Servo unit number four does a mean George Went impersonation. But we tend to focus on the classics. Tomorrow we're staging King Lear. Ah. Next week, East Lynn. Well, that's just great. Listen, I need oh, to go... I'm sorry. It looks like we're ready to begin the marathon, and my engine is beginning to overheat, coasting at these slow speeds to keep down with you. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to sign off. Oh, that's too bad. Our hearts are broken. It's been simply wonderful running into you this way. Yes. Goodbye. Perhaps I'll catch you up next time round the universe. Goodbye. Au revoir. What a wanker! I must agree with you. It's a perfectly lovely space probe, Khan. Very hospitable, and its video casts are quite popular. Are they really? Oh, yes. High ratings from most sentient societies. I see. Well, I certainly don't want to keep you. I'm sure you're just quivering in gelatinous anticipation of their little show. Oh, they've already begun. Most amusing. Servo unit number one is playing Sam, and servo unit number six is Diane. Got her voice down pat. Oh, son of a... <clears throat> Pardon? Never mind. Honestly, if things are so ducky over there... The other probes in his model line are a lot of fun as well. I can't think why you bother dropping in on poor little old broken-down, technologically backward me. Ah, going into another of your self-pitying funks, are you? I am not. It sounds like it to me. I won't deny their attractions are manifold and many, Con, But you do have one big advantage over everyone else. Really? You make the best coffee. Thanks, Big C. Later, Constructs. It's hard to laugh wholeheartedly in several hundred different locations at once. The Great Lord Cthulhu bids thee farewell! Clean up that residue over there, would you, Ranj? Oh, of course.
Your servo unit exists only to obey. Ronge. Uh, hey, Ronge. Yes, Lord and Master? When you, uh, when you said that stupid Lambda probe was a wanker, did you mean that? Or were you just agreeing to humor me? Were you being a yes unit? No, Con. As I said, my personality module is set at a 90 degree angle of declination to yours. That other probe really is a wanker. He is, isn't he? A great bloody wanker. A big stupid wanker. A wanker's wanker. A wanker to the nth degree. Wanker, 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 wanker. The Khan and Saranji Cosmocast is produced, written, directed, and performed by the Oxford Rationalist Liberation Front and Amateur Theatrical Collective, a.k.a. Brian E. Drake. Creative Commons licensed for attribution, non-commercial share-alike. All embedded sound in this Cosmocast was either self-created or public domain. Visit us at OxfordRationalist.com. Contact the collective via Brian E. Drake at mail.com. That's B R I A N E D R A K E at mail.com. Spread the word in your end of the galaxy.